All right, this is second grade, module six, lesson 10. And in this lesson, we're gonna be taking the arrays that we have been making. Um, and we started using um, color tiles or square tiles to make our arrays. But the big key was we had gaps in our squares. Uh, in this lesson, we are officially kind of building rectangles with our square tiles, no more gaps. Uh, as we incrementally move our way towards third grade of a relating multiplication with the area model. But in this lesson, we're just going to be using squares to compose rectangles. So let's get started. So the directions say to cut out the squares below, and we're going to use these as our squares to construct this array. This is two rows of four tiles. So the idea is two rows of four tiles and I'm trying to do it without any gaps the best I can kind of going quickly here is gonna look like this all right so there we go two rows of four tiles and for I'm gonna temporarily skip the second part because I'm gonna go straight to B this says construct a rectangle with two columns of four tiles so I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna do two columns one two three, four, and then one, two, three, four. All right. So that's the important part that we want our students to do is, are they able to read the words two rows of four or two columns of four and correctly build the rectangle? Now that's paramount. That's really important. We want our students to know that those vocabulary words, specifically rows and columns. But when it comes to the repeated addition, I tell you, for mathematicians, um, this rectangle, when we're finding the area, is 2 times 4, 4 times 2. Uh, you know, it, they're equivalent, aren't they? Now, Eureka Math, however, and this is for parents and teachers, um, what Eureka Math is leading us to say is they want us to say that this is two rows of four so they really want us to write four plus four all right that's what they're really leading us to and so that we get of course eight however so really you could see that they're looking at this row there's four this row there's four and that's what we're looking for now, some students might say, but I see columns, and I see 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. And if that's what your students see, that is a perfectly fine repeated addition as well. There is nothing inherently wrong with this. Uh, so at this point, I think, it's important that they read the words and build the correct rectangle. So we're expecting this rectangle, not this rectangle. But when it comes to the repeated addition, either of these would work, although Eureka Math is leading us to this, this one. So along those same lines, once we've built this rectangle, two columns of four, what are they going to be looking for in terms of our repeated addition well once again they're going to be looking for 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 so they're really looking at these rows each row has 2 in it so of course our addition is 8 um, again though if you have some kids who really 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 want to look at those columns and say that oh this is 4 plus 4 by all means, go ahead and let them write that down. There is nothing inherently wrong with students kind of being contrarian that way, as long as I think the key is, are they building the rectangle correctly using the words rows or columns? And the last slide for this video is what shape do we have here? Well, that's a rectangle, so we're going to write down rectangle. All right, and then it says in the space below, redraw the above shape. Okay, so I'm going to redraw the above shape, but this time it says, but use one more extra column. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build the original shape. 
and I'm going here I'm trying to go quickly because I don't want to make this video too long so there is my original shape right there all right <clears throat> but then it says now add one extra column so you can see I have similar shapes now but now I'm supposed to add one extra column, which I'm more than happy to do. I'm going to do that right here. Now, oh, I don't want any gaps. One, two, three, four. And the question is, well, what shape is the array now? Well, now suddenly it's a square. So, in fact, if we wanted to, we can see that it's four by four, uh, four, 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 four. So four rows of four. So our repeated addition would be four plus four plus four plus four, which if we were to do that cool little doubling pattern, four plus four is eight, four plus four is eight, eight plus eight is 16. So we know that there's 16 squares. So down here, I have 16 squares. Trust me, it doesn't look like it, but they're all stacked up. And now we're supposed to draw a different array that has the same, that is the same. Draw a different array of tiles that is the same shape as 4C. So, oh, I see what they're saying. They're saying we need to draw another square, only this time it has to have a different number of tiles. So let's draw a square using our tiles. So I'll do one, two, three, yikes, one, two, three, and the idea is if we're looking for a square, we want the same number of tiles in each row as we have rows. So we want three rows of three, or we want two rows of two, or we want five rows of five. And that's what we're looking for, is that's what a square is. It's the same number of tiles as there are rows. So the same number of columns as there are rows. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 6, Lesson 10. Putting a whole bunch of vocabulary together, rectangle, arrays, rows, squares, columns. Man, we're putting it all together.